Yo, what's up? We are now in Bangkok and this is Moto Expo 2022. So I want to show you guys what it looks like over here. Uh, we actually have lots of electric cars now. Let's do the walk around and show you what is available. So here we have some Taycans. I don't have to show you. Yeah, Taycan is freaking expensive here. I think they start at around 7 million baht, which is around 200,000 uh, 200, euros. Do they have any price here? Taycan, Taycan 4S. Here, 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 here. Look, look at this. This is start, start price. 7.5 million baht. That's roughly 200,000 euros for just a 4S. Crazy expensive because they get massive import tax because this is not manufactured in uh, China or somewhere else. That's why it's so expensive. So anyway, I don't have to show you guys too much. You guys know this. This is the fat Taycan for us. Over here, we have Mercedes. There's one interesting thing is that Mercedes, they start manufacturing, they, they, they receive parts to Thailand and then they actually assemble the EQS in Thailand to bypass some taxes. And actually the one you have here, I don't care too much about these ones. I think this is just a fossil. Do we see exhaust here? CLL, okay, okay, whatever. You don't care about this one. But we want to look at the EQS. Um, they actually have an EQS 500. Uh, let me see, is this the one? I'm not sure, that's not the, yeah, there's some plug in, okay. This is the one, but let me see. I just wonder, I saw something on the screen there. But they have actually an EQS 500, which is still all-wheel drive formatic. I tried the one that I tried in, um, in yeah, yeah, here, you can see the badge, 500. So it's, it's slightly less powerful than the 580 formatic I tried in Norway. I don't even, I don't even think this one is available in, uh, in, um, let me see here, oh, in Europe, I wonder if this is the number of horsepower, or what is it again, I, I sorry, I don't know, uh, is there an a, a English info uh, thing here, there, 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 we see something here. Here, here, there, there, this is the one I'm looking for, okay, I don't know if you can see it, but um, it has, uh, yeah, 450 horsepower. Still the same Newton meter. NCM. 7.9 millibot. That is also around 200,000 euros. The problem is that um, non-Asia cars, they get a hefty 80% uh, import tax. So these cars become super expensive. Only the real rich people can afford them. Well, anyway, I don't need to show you guys too much, I guess. I'll just check, check about this. Is it for the hyper, hyper screen? Oh yeah, oh, wait, did they, uh, the key is not there. She, but okay, here we go, see? We have the hyper, hyper screen. Uh, okay, interior, what about the back? Uh, the, I bet they have Budmeister, yeah, it seems a Budmeister. What the back here? Mm, okay, no, so not too much to see there. I've, I tested so many EQSs in the past. Just kind of wait to see the steering wheel on this side. <laughs> well, anyway, let's move over to more stuff. Uh, there are lots of EVs here. Maybe just not right here. I'll just take a quick sweep, as always, when I go on these expos. But uh, the expos here in Thailand might be slightly different than the one you find in Europe. I guess eventually you'll find out. Oh, oh here is some EV. This is EV. This is some kind of cheap EV. Um, I think it's called, v is it called Volt? So this is actually a very affordable EV. Uh, it's a, like a tiny one, you see here. Very basic. I uh, yeah. drive neutral uh, reverse. This is probably, well, it's, it resembles um, <laughs> think. Wait, this is even, this is even small. Oh, this is a four-seater. Oh, they have a four-seater Volt and a, and a two-seater Volt. Uh, some chai oh this is this is ex this is affordable 365k so we're talking about um, just 10,000 euros for volt for two wait they call it for two wait what the heck is this they could have put i hope they have a front gate this is a humongous space in the front i guess this is the crumble zone right <laughs> so this is a very basic ev that people are interested in we have the four four door version of it here see oh Oh, with seats in the back and a tiny trunk. How, how do you open the trunk? 
How the heck do you open the trunk? I, there is a, there is a, there is something here. I don't even know how to open the trunk, but it's tiny. It's freaking tiny. Here, here, we can see the, here's, here's the trunk open. Make sure here. Tiny trunk, really tiny trunk. I still don't know how to, the heck you open it. The, the seats just fall like this. This doesn't split there, so very basic car, but I guess affordable, the Volt. I bet it's from China. Whoa, that's a ton. Huh? What kind of wheels is this? Freaking tiny. Guys, 155, 65, 13 inch Ling Long, of course. Yeah, my trailer tire is bigger than this, uh, this one. Just to put things in perspective. I think, and maybe my trailer is even bigger than this car. But it's affordable. This one costs slightly more. It's 425k baht, which is uh, slightly more than uh, 10k euros. All right, let me see. What else do we have? This Porsche. Uh, let's go. Um, let's go over here. All right. So really crowded over here. Yeah, they still wear masks here. I don't take any chances. I also wear mask. This is just fossil. I don't care too much about it. Uh, there are some interesting EVs here to show you, but right over here, take a quick sweep. Not too interesting. Just uh, fossil. Yeah, nothing to see, nothing to see. Yeah, nothing here. Still just fossil. Yep, this is a Suzuki. What, what am I looking at? This is Suzuki. They don't have any. They don't have any electric. Of course, here you see fossil. Yeah. What what I was going to say is that in Thailand, the motor shows they have the cold, so they have the pretty, the ladies that just they're just paid to stand there. <laughs> and of course, over here they don't have banana box test. They have a fruit test. This is actually real fruit to put in here. Yeah, the real thing. <laughs> yeah, the way to go. But this is not fossil. I mean, it's not electric, so it's not too interesting. So we'll just keep moving. So the the whole point of this video is to give you guys the vibe and also to see some stuff here. It, it is as if you could be here, but you can't, right? So, yeah. Oh, the real Mustang. Oh, yeah. But it's not electric. Okay. Moving on, moving on. We have Lamborghini over there. But I'm not sure if they have anything interesting to see there. So, um, let's keep moving. Wait, there's this, this is something interesting. Swap and go. Ah, oh, wait a minute. Now we're talking. Swap and go. I need to be better than I come. How do you change batteries? How do you change batteries? I think there's some battery swap here. Look at this. Oh, oh. Can I try? How heavy is it? Is it on? Yeah, you can. Okay, let me let me try to lift it. Oh, it's it's it weighs around maybe seven eight kilo. Okay, it bugs now because we 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 triggered the alarm. Okay, that's good. There's alarm and stuff there. But let's see, how big is this battery? I'm not sure. There. No. I'm not sure, I, I can't read it right now, it's too small for me, but I can look it afterwards. But you see, so the whole idea is that this is like Gogoro. It's like Gogoro in, uh, in um, Taiwan, you know? A similar concept, and you see here, you take the battery, you, yeah, and then you swap it. Battery swap, huh? Anyone? <laughs> battery swap? And here you see the battery. Also close up what it looks like. So it's, this is cool. And unfortunately, this is not more common in uh, Europe, but they have motorcycles. And I tested stuff like this in Thailand. Maybe not this kind of, this size, so slightly smaller, but you can easily go 50 kilometers. I bet these ones go maybe more, more, more like 100 kilometers. So this is also way, of pr this is electric, yes. Um, all right, here we have EV Me. You will see more of this EV Me because I'll be borrowing lots of cars from EV Me. EV Me is, um, is a rental company in Thailand and they have lots and lots of customers. They have actually a big fleet of over 500,000 cars, 500, 500 
EVs, yes. Here we see Volvo C40, nothing to see. Um, over here, they also have a Model Y. <laughs> and uh, yeah, lots and lots of people want to see Model Y after recent uh, announcement about Model Y coming to, to, to Thailand. This one is either from uh, UK or, um, or um, uh, Shanghai. I'm not sure, but you see that people are just, oh, what is this? Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Touch, touch. The, oh, nice wheel. Oh, yeah. So that's EV Me. I will be borrowing uh, some interesting cars from EV Me. Actually, today I will pick up BYD Auto 3 from EV Me and drive it to uh, Chiang Mai. So, um, yes, uh, over here, let me see. Oh, yeah, yeah. Aura. Aura Good Cut. Aura Good Cut is finally coming to uh, Europe, I heard. But I think it goes under a different name. But this is the Aura Good Cut GT. The GT, oh, I like the color. The GT has some. Some other stuff, I think. Uh, I don't remember, but it has more power. I think it was around 175 horsepower. Uh, quite uh, beefy. I also managed to check it out in um, Car Scanner uh, to see all the, the info in Car Scanner. Maybe I, if I can pull out. Yeah, I have the info here. This is the, the 400 uh, Pro with the LFP battery. So there's some information here. So it'll be interesting once I test the Aura got GT, how it is. There's another color of the, the GT over there. So at least Aura or Great Great Wall Motor, they have uh, stuff over here. Lots of uh, Aura Good Cuts, but I don't have to show you guys this. I have showed you guys before Aura Good Cut. Oh, this one. Oh, I have to test. I need to make a separate video about this one. It's the Aura, uh, what do you call it again? Uh, Grand Cut or something. This this one is something different. You just look look at this. It's actually a lot bigger than the good cut. Plenty of trunk space. Interesting design, made in China, Great World Motors. <laughs> or a Grand Cut. I need to get access to this one. I know the Great Core World Motor guys, just have to get the right people, I guess. Need to call the right people. <laughs> because I need to do a, an interior, at least an interior review of this one. It seems quite spacious. Lots of finger marks over there. Uh, interesting. Um, all right, so. That's the Aura Grand Cat, right there. You see it from a little bit different angle there. So, will this come to uh, Europe? Do you like it shit? Do you like this shit? <laughs> we will see, I guess, if it comes to Europe or not, but it will probably come to Thailand. It has this Porsche look in the front here. Let me show you. I wonder if the designer here used to work for Porsche. That's why, look at, look, look at the front, look at the front. Hmm, interesting, all right. Let me see, let's keep moving. Fortunately, there are not too many EVs to look at, but we'll have to progress here before the video gets too long. Uh, is this? Oh, this is fossil or hybrid or something. Yeah, just some hybrid, Haval, Haval H86. There is actually a Haval, a, a, a nine, nine something that I'm going to test that has a humongous battery. It's a plug-in hybrid. Uh, Great Wall Motor wanted me to test it. Next over here. Uh, ooh, here we go. Now we're talking. BYD Auto 3. It's like, it's, you, you can see that people, uh, Thai people are interested in this. So uh, the one thing that strikes me is that we have Batman tires. Yeah. <laughs> no, but um, uh, look here. Do you recognize this kind of design element here? If you look at um, ID, uh, Volkswagen ID3, ID4, you will see that it has a very similar shape. So, yeah, but Auto 3 is also coming to uh, Europe eventually. So lots and lots of people are interested in it. Also over here, it just has this weird, weird uh, design on the, on the interior. Let me check the trunk space here. Wow, you see fairly spacious trunk. Yeah, this, this, oh, this is spacious, man. This seems to be similar size as a um, Kia e Niro. Or, yeah. Okay, I need to, I can't do banana box test over here yet. But I, I'm planning on importing banana boxes to Thailand eventually. So that's the Auto 3. And then what else? Yeah, more, they have plenty of Auto 3s there because people are just going crazy for the Auto 3. Let me show you the interior. The interior on the Auto 3 has this weird 
weird uh, thing in the. Well, I'm trying to show you. Here, let me show you. Here. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Do you like this? This looks so weird. You can play on the guitar strings. Wifey doesn't like it at all. I'm like, um, yeah. So, and this is Dolphin. Oh, yeah, yeah. BYD Dolphin. Also fully electric, slightly smaller. This, oh, this seems to be like, uh, it seems to be like, a, like an ID3 size, E-Golf or something. Fairly small. Look, look at the wheels. How they place the wheels. Really short, um, short overhangs, wheels on each corner, fairly long wheelbase for a small car. Dolphin. Let me check inside. The guys just went outside. Let me do a quick sweep here. What does it look like? It looks kind of cheap, but I guess the price will also be, uh, you know, the same. Yeah, lots of hard plastic and stuff. Do we have panorama? Oh, we have glass roof. Okay, okay. All right. Let's see. What's this one? Why people just, uh, oh, again, Auto 3, see? Every Auto 3, wait, wait, there's, they open up the hood. Let me check. Look at this humongous space under the hood. What did they use this for? They could have put uh, two banana boxes in here at least. I mean, the, uh, huh? Is this car designed as a pure EV or not? Look at this space, man. What the heck? This is why, yeah. This is why Tesla might still have a chance to dominate in this market. Okay, look over there, another Auto 3. People are going crazy. I'm going to pick up my Auto 3 from EVME soon. And then I'll drive. Oh, they have plenty of Auto 3s here. What is this? Han. They have BYD Han here. This is the first time I'm going to check it out. BYD Han. Wow, look at this sexy beast. Holy, I had to go over here, I had to go. Look at the back, look at the back. Build your dreams. Yes, you want to build your dreams of Han. Open the trunk, okay. He did exactly what I wanted to do. Check it out. How deep is your trunk? Wait, wait a minute. Don't tell me that the seats cannot fold. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding? The seats cannot fold. There's just do an audio. There's a, there's a lid under here. Oh, okay, a little bit. It looks like the seats cannot fall, but at least it's motorized, right? Okay, all right, all right. Let me check something here. A oh, woman is in the way, but let me see. Let me check something here. Okay, they don't care about the back seat. Yeah, it seems like the seats cannot fall. I, I can't find any handle for the folding seat. Oh, it's like um, ET7. Neo ET7, you can also not fold the seats. I don't understand it because it, it would be a very practical car. Just look how nice, how, look how good looking it is. BYD Han. Huh? Han Solo. But no folding seats. Oh, and also this one has really, fairly long hood, which eats up space. But okay, whatever, I'm not gonna overanalyze stuff now. Okay, keep moving. More out of threes. Everyone just called crazy for the out of threes. Over here, there's another dolphin over there. Okay, let me move over here. All right, what's next? MG. Yeah, MG. MG5. Ah, sorry, MG4. Yeah, also, the one, let me see. I'm gonna check if it has a similar uh, spec as the one I tried in, uh, in Norway. It should have, right? Yep, it seems to be more or less the same. Same interior, same spec as the, the Norwegian one. They haven't uh, cut down anything there at least. So that's, uh, and then, what is this one? MG, oh this is on Fossil. Oh, this will be some Fossil. MG, yeah, this is Fossil, those are also Fossil. No, that's, 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 wait, huh? Oh, that's, that's, that's Fossil, I forgot. In Thailand, they also sell the as fossil version. And that's okay. I'm going to show you that also in Thailand, they also get the Satas electric, but they get the slightly smaller battery. It's only the, the 50 kilowatt hour battery. I don't know if you can see this, the spec here. Not everything in Thai, but you see here, this is 50 kilowatt hour, and then they use NEDC. 400 kilometers LEDs, NEDC. But I wonder if the interior here is, the, yeah, they, they still have the, the carbon fiber leather. <laughs> 
so the interior here seems to be actually the same as the one that you have in, in uh, Norway. Okay, at least that's good. What about the bath? Let me check the trunk quickly. Yeah, also seems the same. Seems the same. And I guess I guess we're supposed to look at these pretty ladies. MG4. You know, I should just go on stage and then start, then rip off, rip open one of the doors <laughs> and do an interior review. Yes. Yeah, so, so this is this is why wifey did not want me to come to uh, to uh, Bangkok Motor Show. She was like, "You sh you shall not come to the Bangkok Motor Show." And I was like, uh, why, why not? Well, <laughs> I hope I can still go back to wifey. <laughs> well, okay. Um, let me check out. We have uh, more stuff interesting over there. Uh, MG Status. This is Fossil. MG, okay. Um, New MGHS, like new MGHS. Civic, no, this is, no, this is just fossil, so we can just skip, skip it, just fossil. What is this? Um, uh, this is also fossil, yeah, HAV, fossil, fossil, yeah. So, and here we have some, uh, this is also for MG5, huh? fossil, okay, Oop. check here. Uh, Subaru, they don't have anything, well, I mean, they might have the Solterra, I don't know if they have it here. But here we have some fossil, not too interesting. Uh, Civic, uh, Honda, they might have Honda E, but you guys don't care about Honda E. You guys have seen it before. Just keep moving. What do you have here? City, uh, fossil, fossil, okay. Um, yeah, over here we, we now get closer to the, to the BMW uh, uh, booth. This is, uh, okay, city again, all right. Uh, there's some other stuff here, some motorcycles, I don't care too much, that's fossil. So, but here, uh, Mazda, again, Mazda, they don't have any EVs. Well, uh, actually, well, they, I forgot, they have, I almost forgot. How can you forget Mazda MX-30? They have CX-30, which is probably the, the big brother with M MX-30. But uh, it's not selling that well, MX-30, for obvious reasons. It's not that uh, great of an EV, so, yeah. But we'll just keep moving, I can show you guys. And the BMW is also represented here, but you will be shocked of how expensive the BMW i4 is. Uh, well, I'm not, I'm not sure. Oh, what the heck? This must be. Oh, you know, it's Peugeot. It's. I thought it was. Fo uh, I thought it was electric. It's. It's the fossil version. Yeah, it must be the fossil version. They are not selling the electric one for. It would be way too expensive because of import tax. So, here is just fossil, not too interesting, but we are closing over to the BMW booth. So, Thailand will sell i4, i e drive 40, and M50, and they will also sell BMW iX. I think they are already selling it. Uh, it's the problem is they are so expensive. You know, the, the i4 M50 in Thailand costs 5 million baht, which is around 150,000 euros. Would you pay that much for an M50? Is this electric? Mini? This looks electric. I also tested it. Wait, did I already pass the... I, I think I already passed the, 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 the BMW. There must be some cars they are just uh, hugging. I wonder if they have... There, there, there. No, there's an M4. Uh, where? Okay, there's, there's some uh, IX over there. I can see. I recognize the trunk. Yeah, you see, people are just uh, gathering around the i4. Is this the M50? No, 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 sorry, sorry. It actually looks like a, it wasn't, it was, that, that was not the i4. I'm actually not sure where the heck the i4 is. Here's iX3, yes, I forgot. Oh, iX3 is actually a affordable-ish, yes. Because this one, if you guys remember, it's actually made in China. So that means that everything that comes from China will have a lower import tax. So you see that the price here, is 3.6 million baht, which translates to around almost 100,000 euros. Still kind of expensive, but it could have been worse. If it was not made in China, it would probably be around 150,000 baht because this one kind of competes against um, Fat Etron, but Fat Etron in Thailand will then cost around 5 million baht because they come from uh, Europe and not from uh, China. And then here, over here, we have IX. IX, unfortunately, is not made in China. 
and you will see that this one costs 5 million baht and this is even just the extra 40 so then now we're talking about 150,000 euros for <laughs> yes I drive 40 the diamonds are here freaking diamonds man yes but at least this one passed the moose test well it was the um, extra 50 that passed the moose test the stuff over there that's just fossil so I'm not too uh, interested in that one let's keep moving here's another IX and maybe this one is the maybe wait no it's IX3 sorry my bad I'm just a little bit confused let's um let's keep moving I think actually most of the interesting stuff we have already uh, covered it so if we go over here um, it's not a pure EV event or uh, expo so it's like a mix of EV and oh, okay. yeah all the all the ladies over there. like I, I, you know I don't know if this would be even allowed if it was Germany or uh, or yeah uh, or Norway you know to kind of have ladies uh, showing off the cars uh, yeah <laughs> but I guess it's actually yeah I heard that the motor show in Japan it's even worse you know they have even less clothes over there in Japan and Korea so I would absolutely not be allowed to go there otherwise wifey will just uh, yeah <laughs> divorce me but over here I'm not sure what this stuff is now we have come to the boat okay not too interesting this is also just some fossil uh, so we don't care about that one uh, I think there are some maybe some electric uh, scooters or motorcycles over here I'm gonna check that one out at least no my, uh, are they uh, no no this is not no this one I can see the actual oh sorry sorry it's not electric yeah so we have also some motorcycles over here actually lots of motorcycles so not too interesting Harley Davidson is also represented over there I guess we can take a little quick sweep since you guys are just hang out here anyway yeah just a bunch of motorcycles I'm not too interested in those and these are also fossils so again even makes it even less interesting for me all right what do we have over here um, yeah still fossil it's not too, <laughs> too interesting so uh, are these electric no 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 this is uh, is this Vespa wait Alpha wait. yeah no, I can see this okay it, first first I thought oh are these electric but I can see the exhaust I was like oh okay no um yeah so I wonder if I have covered everything now lots I have to say lots of people here man look at this it's freaking crowded but it's almost yeah it's Saturday afternoon right now so we have lots of people here but yeah I think I covered everything we have uh, sweeped over the most interesting uh, stuff yeah I think that's it really uh, okay. Volvo over there where is this is this uh, no no I'm trying to look for something electric but they, they are really not uh, into electric uh, stuff uh, really so just a bunch of motorcycles well okay I think we cover everything right what do you guys think huh, of this motor show um, not too much electric that I am interested in yeah but I guess uh, would be interesting maybe some for some of you guys let me check over here by the way did I forget something here no that, that's home. if it's Honda then it's not interesting it's a, this is the Honda boot it's a, lots of Honda stuff here so all right anyway I think that's gonna be it guys did I forget anything let me just uh, quickly walk over here before because I want to do this in one single shot okay, let me just move over here and um, yeah I think that's it it's actually not as long as some of the other videos in other motor shows <laughs> but okay so what do you guys think huh? would you come here just to look at the ladies no you wouldn't <laughs> well okay I think that's gonna be it for now hope you guys enjoyed this video as always thank you for watching and wait, wait, wait I was about to end I'm not sure what this one is BRG group it's some kind of yeah I was about to end but I forgot something yeah I forgot this one Poco again electric based you, see, you can see it's electricity electro auto it's um this one is even cheaper 379k ah, okay that's the same as similar to the other one so again around uh, 100 uh, 10 000 euros for uh, a cheap chinese car with two seats and uh, 
a steering wheel yeah there's some screen there or something yeah so this is probably i guess as long as you have air conditioning then you shouldn't shouldn't complain right it takes you from a to b and it has wonderful rims really this one actually has 14 inch 155 65 4 inch that's the way to go 14 inch yeah so um yeah uh i think that's actually the last electric we uh, have seen over here right? but over here we also have more uh, poco uh, yeah more pocos i still wonder how the heck you open there how do you open the trunk huh? it, it should should be self-explanatory right how to open the trunk but when i try to they have a bucket camera wow they have bucket camera but they i don't know how to open this must be some kind of chinese invention like how do you open the trunk i i don't know man i have no idea but you can see the wonderful interior look at this is this oh okay yeah yeah, yeah. oh okay the gear shifter is over there wow this that's some interesting uh, yeah all right now you guys have seen it this one will probably never come to europe it would just be sold in the asia thai market hmm all right all right so i think that's it yes now i covered everything yeah <laughs> So that's going to be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.